This is an example of a typical suburban backyard and how you can incorporate Florida natives into a small space. This arbor was created and on it I have three different Florida native plants. I have coral honeysuckle, which you see in the center, that's blooming profusely. I have Carolina jasmine, we'll see on the back post. And I have passion vine, which at this time of year, we are now in February, at this time of year is spent and looking dead. We'll come back out in the spring. The coral honeysuckle blooms throughout the year and is very attractive to the hummingbirds. I have a hummingbird that comes through at least twice a day. I'm not monitoring all day long, but I do see a hummingbird come through several times over the past year that this has been put in place, typically coming through in the evening and feeding on these beautiful red flowers. You'll see the Carolina Jasmine now peeking through, cascading down from the top of the arbor. If you were here, you could smell its very strong, sweet fragrance, very pleasant fragrance. And it blooms in the winter, profusely in the winter. And you can see that it is attracting. Some bugs, flying insects, pollinators. In the spring, when the passion vine blooms, that's when you'll start seeing the butterflies. Again, right now, it looks dead, but it is simply dormant and will sprout again. And it literally covers this trellis. It does produce fruit, very flavorful fruit. If you've seen lately the juices that are uh, mixtures of passion then that is from this passion vine. It's very attractive to the Gulf fritillary butterfly and the zebra longwing butterfly. The only difficulty I have in maintaining this arbor is keeping the suckers off of the main stems of the poles. If I didn't trim those off, it would be so thick down here that I wouldn't be able to walk through the arbor. So I trim all the suckers off so that all the growth remains on the top of the arbor. The coral honeysuckle is a cascading vine, and so I do allow it to cascade over the side. Again, this is a typical suburban backyard, and you can see how you can incorporate Florida native plants that are both beautiful and supportive of the 
local native birds, bees, pollinators, butterflies. It's a beautiful backyard providing entertainment and peace. I encourage everyone to plant native Florida plants in their Florida yards to support the native Florida animals.